Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new episode of Waterman's Ideal. This is episode number four and in this video we're going to be talking about the eBay gamble. So let's get right into it. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So as far as winning, I have several pens that I've won that are just fantastic, just all on their own. Here we go, 0752. These all write really nice. These are my two that are currently inked up and they both write really, really well. This one has nice flex to it. And of course the 52X, which I actually just had a little accident with. I had it inked up. And this one flows so well that it actually overflowed into my new pen case. And that's not fun. So I cleaned that out, but these are some of the pens that I've gotten. Here's another one. Actually, I need to have this one sent in just because the feed is a little too high up. So I'm gonna send this one in to get worked on as well. And the, you can see the lever isn't really pressed in there all the way. So you can win some with eBay. And then you can also make the mistake that I made of not reading the full description. So last Sunday I went to Disneyland with my family and on the car ride home, I was bidding on a pen and that pen is this one right here. It is the Waterman's 452.5 LEC. And the LEC means that the uh, overlay is covering the entire end of the barrel. It ex it's like an extended covering. Compared to my 452, my regular one, you can see this one has the ebonite covering the end of the barrel. And this one has the sterling silver covering the entire end of the barrel. Super lovely pen. It's a wonderful shape. It just needs some servicing. And unbeknownst to me, it's this crack right here. I didn't read the entire description. I did not know that this lever was broken. Well, not a big deal, right? You just send it in to someone, they can replace it. Well, no, on this pen, this repair, it's not easy to get this overlay off. So what I have to do is I'm sending it into a guy in Boston, a nice guy named Andy, who is going to laser weld this piece. He's going to laser weld this sterling silver lever. Instead of it being like, hey, you bought this pen for really cheap. You know, I have to spend at least a hundred bucks to get this thing laser welded back so I can actually use it. And if this doesn't work, then it's gonna be like a $300, $400 repair. So I'm trying to avoid that as best as I can. So that is a loss on my end. I should have read the entire description. And then I had another pen that I bid on. It was a pen and pencil set and all the pictures looked really good. The description said, you know, other than maybe being serviced, there was nothing wrong with it. Everything looked really, really nice on the whole set. And then I actually got the pieces and lo and behold, someone had carved like crosses or a T into them. So I just put in that return. That's not great. So I'm very happy with all of my eBay purchases, except for that one, but luckily they were able to refund me. But you just gotta be careful. Read the full description, check the feedback on the person who's selling, because sometimes, you know, they're up to no good. That last purchase, I checked everything and everything there were no random red flags going off except that seller does not specialize in fountain pens so maybe that's another thing but it's so those scratches were so obvious like how did you not like why did you not show those off i don't know but be careful out there on ebay regardless if they accept returns or not ebay can still you can still file a claim and try and get a refund and that's what i did with the seller they did not accept refunds. And after pointing out the problems with the pen and the pencil, they were able to issue a refund. So watch out out there. And this is a very short and sweet episode of Waterman's Ideal. I got to send this pen out today to Boston. And uh, I think I am about done with purchasing for the year. These are not my last pens at all. I have another one coming from eBay as well from England. Tell me in the comments down below what you want to see me review in the future. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking out, you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content like this. 
and follow my Instagram at Craig Garcanova, and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace. Totally forgot, this was also an eBay item. This tiny little 0552 and a half V. And this is from the Antique Digger. If you wanna check out uh, his website, antiquedigger.com, he's got all kinds of really good stuff on there.